From anatomy to anesthesiology, from pathology to pharmacology, from microbiology to medicine, a one-man resource to the world of health sciences. Welcome to Dr. Paul's Medical Lectures. A practicing physician, Dr. Paul offers you essential insights on diseases afflicting millions of people around the world. For today's lecture, here is Dr. Paul. Good afternoon, folks. This evening, I want to talk a few minutes about uh, Good afternoon, folks. This uh, afternoon, I want to talk a few minutes about gunshot wounds. Gunshot wounds are common, and uh, you can say, I mean, in your regular practice, you see them very often. I mean, if you live in uh, places where there is high violence, certainly you will see these injuries. So, how do we we treat these patients? How do we identify the damage? Those are the important things I want to discuss. So when you see a gunshot wound, don't just rely upon visual inspection because that can underestimate the extent of damage. You should see the wound but you should also think. And these gunshot wounds can cause musculoskeletal system injuries resulting in complex soft tissue lesions and when they hit the bone they can also cause comminuted fractures and also a nerve damage, artery damage, tendon damage. So whatever that comes in the path, it can hurt those things. Now there is high velocity wounds and low velocity wounds. If it is uh, less than 2000 feet per second, it is called low velocity wound. And if it is more than 2000 feet per second, it is called high velocity wound. So think about how fast it is happening. You remember we uh, we learn about kinetic energy. That is the thing you need to remember here. The energy, how much energy is being transferred in this impact, how much deformation it could cause, how many fragments it could make to a bone, and what is the stability, where is the entry point, where is the exit point, what is the path this bullet might have taken through its entry, and what are the, um, uh, what is the biological status of the tissues, because weak tissues take more brunt and strong tissues take less brunt. And also kinetic energy. Remember in physics we learn about uh, uh, the formula of kinetic energy that is mv squared by 2. That is mass multiplied by square of the velocity divided by 2. That means greater the mass, higher the kinetic energy. Greater the velocity, higher the kinetic energy. But you remember there is velocity and mass but velocity is multiplied, right? Velocity there is a square root to the velocity. That means velocity is more important than mass because you are doubling the velocity. That means it is quadrupling the kinetic energy. So mv squared by 2, so remember that, so that if the weight is increasing, the mass is increasing, I mean the, the bullet that causes more damage. If the more kinetic energy it causes more damage. And you can see in this x-ray, folks, the bullet, I saw this patient two days ago, and the bullet just went into his thigh. It didn't hit the bone. You see, the bone is nice. So it's a relatively simple gunshot wound. So you need to see how much damage it is causing. And you need to uh, think about uh, uh, that particular path. Most of the times, for this patient, for example, all I did was I removed the bullet, I gave him antibiotics, I took the, I irrigated the wound, and uh, I sent him home for the follow-up after two days. And you always need to keep an eye on the wound sepsis. That's all you have to do. So low velocity wounds can be managed by local wound care and outpatient treatment. And uh, the wound should be left open for drainage. If the fracture, I mean, for sometimes um, these wounds could cause comminuted fractures, especially high velocity wounds. And in that case, you need to do surgical irrigation, debridement, and you need to give IV antibiotics for 24 to 48 hours, and then you need to 
uh, refer them to orthopedics for the either internal fixation or external fixation. So you see when you look at uh, gunshot wounds, think about do a visual examination and also think about other factors like uh, kinetic energy, the mass, the velocity, the path, the entry wound, exit wound, what are the uh, organs that might have been injured, any nerves, arteries, tendons or other organs in the body. Think about all those factors and think about the velocity and uh, take an x-ray. In this x-ray you can see the bullet is just inside. It went into the tendons but it didn't hit the bone. So the bone is fine. So when you treat these patients you need to think about those things and based on the extent of injury you treat these patients. If the injury is not that a big deal then outpatient treatment is all that you need. But if the injury is so deep, there are comminuted fractures, there is, then those pa patients need irrigation, debridement, IV antibiotics and orthopedic consultation. So those are the most important things I want to talk about in gunshot wounds today. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. For more medical videos, please visit us at www.drpaul.org and take time to browse through hundreds of health videos we regularly post on our site. If you are preparing for USMLE, PLAB, and other medical exams, make sure you visit our website to browse through our videos explaining the essential points you need to know before taking these examinations. For more information, visit us at www.drpaul.org. Thank you, and may God richly bless you.